The AS-21 Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle represents a major step forward in Australia's efforts to modernize its armored forces. Developed by Hanwha Defence Australia, a subsidiary of South Korea's Hanwha Defence, the Redback was selected in July 2023 under the Land 400 Phase 3 program to replace the aging M1113 AS-4 armored personnel carriers. This procurement aligns with Australia's broader defense strategy, which seeks to enhance national security through cutting-edge military capabilities and domestic defense manufacturing. Australia's selection of the Redback followed a rigorous evaluation process. Initially, 450 vehicles were planned for acquisition, but this number was revised to 129 units in April 2023 following the Defense Strategic Review. This decision was driven by a focus on acquiring advanced capabilities while ensuring fiscal responsibility. The project, estimated to cost between $5 billion and a $7 billion, equivalent to $3.4 billion to $4.7 billion, includes full-scale production of the Redbacks in Australia. To meet the accelerated delivery timeline, an initial batch of vehicles may be built in South Korea before full-scale production commences at the Hanwha Armored Vehicle Center of Excellence in Geelong. The program also includes the development of training and support systems, ensuring seamless integration into the Australian Army. Australia's investment in the Redback also brings significant economic benefits. The establishment of HACE is expected to generate hundreds of jobs, fostering expertise in armored vehicle manufacturing and maintenance. This initiative aligns with the broader objective of enhancing Australia's defense industrial base and reducing reliance on foreign suppliers for critical military assets. Furthermore, Hanwha's collaboration with local Australian firms will ensure that the Redback benefits from domestic innovation and engineering expertise. The AS-21 Redback builds upon the South Korean K-21 platform but incorporates numerous enhancements tailored for the Australian Army. The 42-ton IFV features a powerful MTU America MT881 K500 diesel engine with an Allison transmission, providing a top speed of 65 km per hour and an operational range of 525 km. The Redback accommodates a crew of three and can transport up to eight infantry soldiers. A defining feature of the Redback is its advanced survivability systems. The vehicle employs a single-piece composite rubber track developed by Sousey Defense, which improves ride quality while reducing noise and vibration. Its defensive measures include plaza and modular armor, the Elbit Iron Fist Active Protection System, and the Iron Vision Situational Awareness System, which grants the crew a 360-degree battlefield view. Additionally, the Redback is equipped to counter a variety of threats, including ballistic, mine, and chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear hazards. In terms of firepower, the Redback is armed with an Australian-designed EOS T2000 turret featuring an ATK Mark 44S Bushmaster II 30mm autocannon, a Raphael Spike LR2 anti-tank guided missile system, a coaxial MAG-58 7.62mm machine gun, and an EOS R400 remote weapon station. The autocannon is compatible with programmable airburst ammunition, and the turret can be upgraded to a 40mm caliber with minimal modifications, ensuring long-term battlefield relevance. The acquisition of the Redback aligns with Australia's broader shift toward modernized, networked, and highly mobile armored formations. The IFV will complement the Australian Army's existing fleet of 100 Boxer 8x8 combat reconnaissance vehicles and newly acquired M1A2 SEB3 Abrams main battle tanks. This combination of platforms will enhance Australia's ability to conduct joint mechanized operations, maneuver in complex environments, and project force in the Indo-Pacific region. Australia's Defence Strategic Review has emphasized the importance of developing sovereign defence capabilities, increasing interoperability with allies, and countering emerging regional threats. The Redback, with its state-of-the-art technology and indigenous production, directly supports these objectives. Furthermore, 
its deployment will enhance Australia's ability to participate in coalition operations, particularly alongside key allies such as the United States and South Korea. Beyond its direct combat role, the Redback enhances Australia's ability to conduct humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations. Its high mobility and armoured protection make it suitable for deployment in disaster-affected areas, where it can provide security and transport capabilities in challenging environments. This dual-use functionality further justifies the investment in the platform as it extends the Redback's utility beyond conventional warfare scenarios. When compared to its regional counterparts, the AS-21 Redback stands out due to its advanced protection systems and adaptability. The South Korean K-21, while serving as the Redback's baseline, lacks some of the additional defensive enhancements integrated into the Australian variant. Similarly, the Japanese Type 89 IFV, which has been in service since the 1990s, does not match the Redback's combination of modern sensors, active protection systems, and modular turret options. The primary competitor during Australia's selection process was the German Rheinmetall Lynx KF-41. While both vehicles offered advanced capabilities, the Redback was ultimately chosen due to its superior mobility, survivability, and the opportunity to strengthen ties with South Korea, a key defense partner in the Indo-Pacific. Additionally, the Redback's use of rubber tracks instead of traditional steel provides significant advantages. This feature improves ride comfort for troops while lowering long-term maintenance costs. In comparison, other IFVs in the region, such as the Lynx KF-41, utilize conventional steel tracks, which generate more noise and require more frequent replacements. The Australian Army's decision to prioritize rubber tracks highlights its commitment to enhancing soldier comfort and operational efficiency. Looking ahead, the Redback program could facilitate further defense cooperation between Australia and South Korea. The successful integration of Hanwha's platform into the Australian Army may lead to additional procurement contracts or expanded collaborations in the defense sector. Furthermore, the Redback selection could open export opportunities, as other nations seeking to modernize their armored forces may consider Australia's procurement decision as a benchmark. Potential future upgrades for the Redback include advanced electronic warfare capabilities, artificial intelligence-assisted targeting systems, and enhanced drone integration. These improvements would further increase the IFV's survivability and lethality, ensuring its battlefield relevance for years to come. As military technology advances, the Redback's modular design allows for incremental upgrades, positioning it as a future-proof platform for the Australian Army. The AS-21 Redback represents a transformative acquisition for the Australian Army, delivering next-generation protection, firepower, and mobility. Its integration into the force structure will enhance Australia's ability to address regional security challenges while ensuring the safety of its personnel. The domestic production of the Redback not only strengthens Australia's defense industry, but also reinforces strategic partnerships with South Korea. As deliveries begin in 2027, the Redback will become a cornerstone of Australia's future mechanized warfare capabilities, ensuring the nation remains prepared for the evolving security landscape of the Indo-Pacific region.